No, brother. Yes, brother. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, man. Thanks, man. Nice one. Right, we are finally done and the ESM light is done here and yeah, it's a it's an engineering masterpiece if I can say so myself. So before we get into the video, there's a few things I want to say and I want to give a massive thanks to a few people because this is going to be my last YouTube video for the foreseeable future. I'm hoping that I, you know, get the energy and the um, excitement about YouTube again, maybe in a couple of months, but for now, for the foreseeable future, this is going to be the last video. So it's a great one to end on as well because my YouTube journey pretty much started with the EOS M and drone. So yeah, that's it. So thanks wise, I just want to say a massive thanks to Tom, uh, Tom from 3D Focus because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that talk, um, but Tom, you're not a talker, you're a doer. You took my vision which I had, you worked with me and worked with all the changes and you are an amazing guy. The speed and accuracy at which you work with is absolutely flawless and I've no doubt that you're going to change the game in the future, especially when it comes to camera accessories and 3D focus going forward. Um, I want to also thank the ESM group, all of the guys on the ESM group, you're absolutely amazing. You know, there's been, a, there was, I had a few challenges in building this, so we've had to, had to make some last minute changes and I actually ripped a couple ribbons, but we'll talk about that later on. Um, so I want to say a massive thanks to Skunky Stipe for sending me the ESM. You are truly amazing and like the rest of the group, all you guys, the admins, everybody, you're just so amazing, man. Yeah, and that's it really. Um, so thanks guys for, for everything. Oh, and you guys, YouTubers. How can I forget you YouTubers? Some of you guys, you know, you comment on every video I do and it's amazing. So I'm so grateful for that and that you've enjoyed me up on this journey up until this point here. So 
The ESM, I mean, you know, every time I make a video, I get a lot of people saying, why do you do it? Look at this artifacts, look at this kind of stuff and, and you know, bits and pieces. And I, I know a lot of people on the group, they know how to avoid these things, shooting in 5K FRTP for the cleanest image, um, using filters and, and, and picking their shots wisely if they're gonna use 1080p. So I'm not really gonna go over that again. So all I do wanna say is, there's a reason why this camera, you know, means a lot to me, the ESM. Yeah, this little baby here. All the devs that done all of the work, that put all of the time in to make Magic Lantern, it's not a stretch to say that you guys changed my life in, in, in you know, doing that. For you, maybe it was just a project, but for me, it actually changed my life dramatically. And I just wanna tell you a quick story and break it down super quick. So you guys, you know, you always say that I'm passionate about this and I'm humble in, in terms of the way I approach things and, you know, but there's a, there's, and I've told you stories about, you know, how I used to work at Microsoft and, and, you know, that, and I learned about cameras there, even though I was in the holographic department, but, you know, there's a, it goes a little bit deeper than that. So I just want to explain to you exactly why I always mess with the EOS M and no matter how many great cameras I buy and use and have in my possession, the EOS M will always be here with me in some form of capacity. So to make a long story short, Eight years ago, I was depressed, very, very depressed to the point where I didn't really see a point in carrying on. I was depressed, I had no money, I was in tens of thousands, tens of, thousands of pounds worth of debt and yeah, I was about to lose the room that I was renting. Yeah, I was living in a room at the time. And it was, and it was a really bad time, man. And like, I, I, yeah, I, I, when I think about it, I just think about how far I've come in the last you know, 10 years, how much I've changed my life. And there's three things that I have to thank for that. So the first thing is, is when I got into the Bible and became a Christian. So the Bible really changed my life, man. It gave me clarity and reading the stories and, you know, and seeing what people have done. And, and Jesus, obviously, the main focal point of the whole Bible was a major eye opener for me. And, it, and but the most thing, how can I say not the most thing, the what it gave me the most is hope, you know, so with that hope and my kind of newfound mental freedom, I then started to venture out more and then started to, you know, apply for better jobs, much higher paying jobs. That was way out of my um, class. And I've got a job at Microsoft. So it was a very good, high paying job. Very, it taught me so much about, you know, the technology, holograms, cloud computing, Azure, all of that kind of stuff. And, you know, there's some top people that I worked with there and it was just absolutely amazing. I was supposed to be there for three months, but ended up being there for like nearly four years, you know, and worked with NASA and Ministry of Defense and all sorts of mad companies, Red Bull. And the opportunities what it afforded me was amazing. And the money, obviously, you can imagine, was absolutely great too. So within a year, um, and with the help of my friend, I was able to uh, wipe out my debt completely. And then obviously you start to see the money start stacking up. But since that point, you know, I, I, had a, I had a new respect for my time, not for the money per se, but for the time that I put in to earn that money. So it kind of went hand in hand. And while I was at Microsoft, I got very um, friendly with the video team and I bought my first camera. So after, them, after they lent me a camera, loaned me a camera, I then I went out and looked for something cheap and it was the ESM. And it was talking to Guy Ritchie uh, on one day when he was visiting um, and he was talking about his film sets and how you know he was trying to visualize them and how the holographic technology would help him to visualize them. And, and I think he was just about to shoot uh, King Arthur at the time. So he was wondering how to go about it. And it was fascinating to me. I've been on film sets before, I've seen all that kind of stuff before, but it was fascinating to, you know, sit down just one-on-one -on -one with a director and, and like Guy Ritchie and just talk about, you know, a lot of things, especially since I used to watch his films back in the day. Um, probably wouldn't watch them now though, <laughs> with the amount of swearing, but anyway. Um, yeah, so those kind of things changed my life. And then when you go through a process like that, which changes your whole life, your whole outlook, from my faith, to my work, to my financial situation, those things tend to stick with you forever because you remember. And that's the reason why I'm still using the ESM. I use it in productions, I use it in, in uh, you know, YouTube stuff. And so I hope you understand now that the ESM is more than just a camera for me because it, it gave me purpose. My Bible and my faith gave me hope. My job at Microsoft gave me financial freedom, but the camera, the ESM is what gave me purpose. So. You can understand now why I'm so passionate about this camera gear and why I always talk about saving your money and not spending too much money and trying to maximize your money on, on what you you know what you spend on. You need to recoup because it's not good being in those places. 
So, that out the way now. I hope that didn't bore you too much, but that out the way, you know, we finished the um, EOS M. So this is the light version. So the light version, you would put your own battery on the back, your own power source. But we are doing a pro version with internal power. And I think actually the this light version, now that we've um, designed some accessories, which we'll go into later, it might we might not even need to do the pro version because the light version is gonna be so kitted out that it's just gonna be, might not even be worth doing the pro version anymore. We might as well just keep this, this cheaper version. So yeah, this is it anyway. So I've got a Cinco mic there on the side and I'm gonna talk about Cinco later and why they're so good for the EOS M or for any camera really, any run and gun situation, streaming or whatever. You know, I've got a Nitsi handle there and you can see the screen there. I mean, it's fully kitted out, man. This thing is a beast. Now, what you notice first when you hold this thing is how dense it is. Now you've got to remember, I owned a lot of cameras and I still own a couple, you know, the FX30, the, the Lumix S5. And what you'll notice first is how dense this camera is. It is weighty, like so solid. I'm telling you, this is stronger than any Blackmagic that you own. It feels like you're holding something like, I can't, exp you, you know what I mean when you've got a, a solid block of a camera in your hand. This is how it feels because the way Tom designed this is so thick, so sturdy, that even if you dropped it, I'm gonna say that this would probably outlast a lot of cameras. And the way that he's done the heat sunk, um, the heat sunk uh, quarter 20s on there, just to make sure the strength is there and you know, put lenses on. I've been rolling with it now, just mucking around with it for a few days in the house after I built it. And yeah, I mean, it's solid, man. There's just no movement in there. Absolutely amazing, man. Love this, love this thing. The job what Tom done, absolutely amazing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through um, what's in the box and show you exactly what comes in the box when you purchase such a thing from us, because we will be selling them. You will be able to print your own later, um, but at first we will be selling these and we'll talk about the price as well. So let's go and have a look at what's in the box. So that was everything that you get inside the box when you purchase from us. So obviously if you print your own, you will have to buy all of that stuff separately. But if you purchase it from us, then that is what comes in the, in the, in the box. So there's everything that you need apart from the power cable. So the HDMI ribbon, the HDMI connectors, the mic, the fan, and yours will have a Noctua fan as well. It won't have the, the little black fan like what I have. You'll have a proper Noctua fan. Mine is just a test model. Everything will be in there that you need to get up and running. The only thing you need to do is use um, a USB power cable. So the reason why we didn't include that is because we know a lot of you run with power banks and, and you know you have that dummy battery and all that kind of stuff already. But if you do want it, Tom has bought um, quite a few more and he's shortened them for the correct length. So the little transformer part will stick inside and the cable will be a really nice length. And again, we'll go into the pricing on that later because that, that is a little bit of extra work. But yeah, I mean, as I said, there's everything that you need to get going. So, you know, the, the idea of this is you guys will have a professional solid body that you don't need to, you know, have wires and that kind of stuff. And when you're taking it into more of a, because I know some of you guys do use it professionally now and you do, I've seen the stuff that you do. And you, some of you guys are really wise. You only stick to 1080p and or 5K FRTP if you don't want the artifacts. I, I know you guys know how to use it. And you know, with the insane speeds, what we're getting now from what the devs have done is just absolutely crazy. So hats off to you. And you know, I know something like this would go a long way. I'm, I'm not saying it's for everybody. I know a lot of people still like to have the small camera, but the good thing is it's cheap. 
you know, you, so you can have two cameras if you want to, and it's easily reversible. So this whole build is non-destructive. And there's a build video coming out, which will walk you through the whole build process. And talking about the build process, it was actually quite hard at the beginning. So we thought we had worked everything out and we thought that everything was done perfectly. And it was until I got to the build with my fat fingers. So when I, what it was, you, you have to take the, cam the back of the camera, connect the wires up, and then you have to try and fix the um, wires inside whilst it's resting on the camera at the front. And it was too hard to get the ribbon cable through and I ended up ripping two ribbons trying to do it after quite a few hours. And that's where um, Skunky Stipe from the Facebook group, who, he sent me this for free. So, you know, so I could carry on and finish the build. But yeah, it's way too hard. So I had to make some cuts inside and then Tom went and remodeled the whole of the inside. So the chamber that the, where the cables go is massive now. So now you can, when you've got your camera and you take your back off, you disconnect the screen, disconnect the buttons, put the back back on, and then you can run the cables through while it's all connected and then, and then just screw them down on the, on the side here because it'll run through that whole chamber. So now it is so, so, so simple now. And that's what I needed. Like, I actually feel like Zen and joy, like, you know, that the whole thing is so easy to do now and anyone will be able to do it. So th that is it. I think that's, there's not much more to say apart from, um, let me just get, I've got a few notes here. So I'm gonna go through these notes. Right, so let's talk about price. So the price for the whole body, all the cables, um, the HDMI cable, the ribbons, um, all of the back, all of the stuff that you need, apart from the power cable is $169, okay? You know, this thing isn't about profit. This thing is about a passion and, you know, a dream for, for me. And the dream came alive. And yes, we can offer that at 169. There's, there's hardly any profit in it, guys. It took time. We was going to start do a Kickstarter or try to do some sort of GoFundMe to raise the funds. There was a lot of, you know, conjecture and yes and no's and uh, this ain't really a Kickstarter project. 169 is probably, it, not probably, it is the best that you can do. And in fact, that is an early bird price because when you factor in the time and labor to print this, it's not, it's, it's a long process. I'm telling you, it's a long process, man. If you do want the um, um, dummy battery and cable to go with it, and, and Tom shortened it as well, so it fits nicely because the cables do come quite long, that will cost you $189, so that's an extra $10, $20. Um, and again, that is, um, like I said, there's not much money in it, guys. I'm telling you, seriously, you, you can't do any better than that. And then for you guys that want to print your own, you will be able to print your own very soon. So what we're gonna do first is do a limited run. So there's only gonna be about 10, I think, or 13 cameras that are gonna be available to purchase on the 3D Focus website. And the reason why we've done that is because we want the first ones to go out that people build and use. You know, obviously we want to get that feedback, but we also want to make sure that they get a high quality functioning unit. As I said, this has been printed very high quality. Yeah, it's super strong. There is nothing that is gonna break on you on this, whatever you're using, yeah? within reason you know even on even on this side where i've got the mic you really only want to be putting mics and stuff on there don't try and put anything heavy on there batteries and stuff but for the rest the cheese plate at the back or you know the quarter 20s on the side go ahead and, and put in whatever you want because they're strong enough so um we want people to have the best experience if we put out the stl file now then people are going to print some dodgy ones. It's just going to happen. People have got 100 pound printers, 150 pound printers. You're going to print something dodgy. It's going to break up and then we're just going to look like a laughing stock. So we want to protect our integrity in that sense because we're not stopping just here. There's going to be a lot more going on. Okay, so that's the early bird price. Um, the shipping starts late January. So you should have it sometime in um, early Feb. We have a Facebook group for news and support. So now this isn't a Facebook group to take over from the EOSM group. The EOSM group is the most valid group if you want quick and no nonsense you know, replies or you wanna share your work. Please do not post any videos and that kind of stuff of you know, shots that you've done out or on any productions that you've done on the 3D focus group because that's not what it's for. That group is only to answer questions, to get people quick support and to show you any future updates and stuff that's coming out because there will be a lot of other products for, um, coming out for this and other cameras. So yeah, please join the original Facebook group. I'll put the link in the, in the description. That is the main group you wanna join. 
Um, a build, the build video will be, will be out soon. So that will be out before the unit starts shipping. So that will give you a complete walkthrough of how to build one of these. And like I said, we've made it quite easy. It's non-destructive. You can easily put your camera back together again should you want to sell it or do anything like that or just maybe strip it down to take it on holiday for a few weeks or something. It's going to be very easy. I did mention the Noctua fan. So um, in, you, you will have the Noctua fan in there, but I've already explained that in, in the what's in the box. And um, let's talk about other things. Um, the top NATO rail. So as you can see, I've got the tilter one on here. To be honest, that probably wasn't the best choice because it comes really close to the power button. So the NATO rail you want, you want between 80 and 100 millimeters for the top rail. Okay, and that's not the whole length. That's make sure that's inside where the screw goes because if you just get like an, an 80 millimeter one from, from outside to outside in width, it won't fit. You need a long one with the inside screw holes, 80 to 100 millimeters. I suggest probably going for 100 or something like that because then, you sh then you'll be able to use it on the side of the camera. Um, I believe that's right. Tom, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong in, and I'll pin that in the, in the comment section. So yeah, that's it for that. And you know, we um, the um, just want to talk about accessories as well. So I, I did mean to do a, a, an accessory video. Some of my most used accessories for the Canon EOS M. And um, I just want to show you three, there's only three of them, a filter, an adapter, and um, microphone. So that's all, the only three I want to show you really. And that's it. So my first and main product what I want to talk about is the Mikey VND filter. So this comes with a VND, and it also comes with a clear filter as well, but I usually keep the VND in there and it's EF to EFM. And yeah, that's it really. Just, a, uh, just an adapter for your EF lenses that reads the information and it has hard stops in the ND. This pretty much lives on my EOS M all the time. Amazing. This is a Tiffin Black Pro Mist one, one quarter or one fourth or whatever you want to call it. This is great for daytime use. I wouldn't use this at nighttime because the lights bloom a lot. But for daytime use, when you're getting a lot of aliasing and you do need that 1080p, this can soften up the image just enough without blooming it like crazy, as long as you don't shoot into you know, the sun or, or any bright lights. But for a normal day, it's absolutely amazing. So the mic system I choose to use on the EOS M is the Synco mics. And the reason why I love these mics is because they sound decent, they're good quality, the price is very low. So this triple mic setup here only costs 122 pounds. And each of these side parts come off to, to have a mic on there. And also there's a mic built into the bottom of the main unit as well, which is amazing. The lights on the side, they correspond to the lights what you have here. So one mic will have a blue light, one mic will have a green light, and then you've got the main one in the middle, the orange, yeah? And then each one of those, you can go into the settings as well. So if I press the down arrow, and let's go, let's go into the main unit and I press set, and you can see the kind of options that we've got there to change it. And we can mute mics, change the gain, all sorts of stuff like that. And if I come out of here and go into the very bottom, this one is the most interesting one because we can got more fine controls over the gain and what we want to change the TRS outputs for, the headphone jack output. We can connect this to phones or tablets to use this to charge. There's so much features in here. And you've even got like an EQ setting as well. So you can change it to like blues, country, rap, all sorts of things like that. But the main reason why I love to use this on EOS M is because of the headphone jack. On the EOS M, there's no way to monitor your audio. So you don't know if your monitors, your audio is too loud, if there's something in the background that you're not picking up. So these are perfect. And at 122 pound, this is absolutely amazing. There's a ton of reviews on this already and they go into a lot of detail. So please go and check out those reviews and you get the gist of how this works. Now, the only thing to say is, these here on the mics are not lavaliers. They are actually headphone jacks because these are used for streaming, content creation. You know, I mean, I guess you could use it for a movie if you could hide it well enough, but that's mainly for all of those kind of creator type of, uh, you know, use cases. Not necessarily, you know, for using with a lab, creator type. But I think these days in the world of podcasts and the way people are shooting, you know, a lot of their content, having a mic out doesn't really matter so much. There's also a couple of other accessories that you get with this. So we have a couple of adapters here and one is for lightning so you can connect it to iPhones and stuff like that. And then we've got like a USB-C so you can use it to connect to your laptop for, you know, for audio. So if you're doing any voiceovers or Zoom calls and stuff like that, you can connect those to phones or to uh, your laptop. Everything comes neatly packaged in this purse little case kind of thing here. 
and very strong, durable, nice little case with all the little uh, pouches and parts for your accessories. And you also get two wind muffs as well. So these wind muffs here and these clip on very easy. So yeah, these are very nice mics. You know, whether you're getting one of the older ones, the G2, or if you're gonna go for something like the G3, these are fantastic for cameras that have headphone jacks or if they don't. Cinco, thank you for sending me these. I really enjoy using your mics. And as I said, guys, there's a lot of reviews out there on these already and they go really in depth. I don't wanna go in depth because I'm gonna make this video too long. I just wanted to point out some of my favorite types of accessories which I use for the ESM. Okay, guys, that is it. I can't believe this is my final words, which I'm saying on YouTube. But like I said, hopefully, you know, I get the zeal to come back and do this. But there's other things I'll, I've got to do, man. I want to get more into my faith and, you know, not have the pressure of trying to upload regular videos as well as doing client work. I'm traveling soon as well. Should be first stop should be Panama in a couple of weeks. And um, yeah, just just try to, you know, kind of leave the YouTube space for a little bit and then come back, hopefully fresh and, you know, with fresh ideas. Um, yeah, and try to, you know, carve a, uh, you know, a unique space for myself in YouTube rather than doing what everybody else is doing. So guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed everything that I was, that was said here. If there's nothing, if there's things you don't understand, then um, just leave them in the comment section down below. But remember, you must join the Facebook group because all updates will be on there and you know pre-orders you know you can find so much more information there as well but well, i think the pre-orders should be live by the time you're watching this video so get over there man and let's see you know what this does and hopefully you know you guys support it back it any any support is great we love the you love support everybody loves support so guys that's it get out there man go and shoot you know don't worry about what you have how cheap it is how expensive it is don't worry about none of that just go out there and create the best stuff you can do in 2023 and just enjoy and have a fantastic year and i will see you in the future. Take care, later.